I'm Morgan Green. I'm the CEO at Green Construction Incorporated. And, uh, basically, I've been coordinating the efforts between um, all the different departments, between estimating, operations, and our finance departments. So now I'm just kind of getting all the departments to work together. My name is Michael Allison. I work for Big D Construction. I'm the quality control manager for our corporate office. So I, I support teams with the quality aspects of their project. My name is Manuel Madrid. I work for Mechanical Service and Systems. I'm a project manager. What I do for them is coordinate everything that goes on in the project. Interact with the owner or the project manager from a construction company and also as well with the workers on site. My name is Chris Todd and I'm the finance manager with Green Construction. I take care of the HR functions, equipment management, um, a lot of the contract review, the business side of construction. My name is Matt Brower. I'm an estimator for Wadman Corporation. And as an estimator, we receive drawings from the architects and owners, uh, gather pricing from subcontractors, and we submit that to the owner and we help write the contracts. Another responsibility of an estimator is we are required to go through the plans, through the specs, make sure that at bid time we have everything covered to ensure that our building is complete. My name is Rodney Clough. I'm a senior project manager. As a senior project manager, I'm responsible for the overall construction project. So I manage the office side and then I'm responsible for uh, production in the field as well so scheduling and uh, making sure that the subcontractors have manpower on the job site and things like that. My name is Lacey Cortez. I am a project assistant. A project assistant takes care of all of the paperwork for projects. I deal with requests for information, submittals, any correspondence that goes back and forth between the architect, the owners, us as a general contractor and our subcontractors basically the center of communication for all of those people. Weber State has a, a great reputation for construction management program. The construction management program at Weber State was really where I needed to go because I was working full-time and needed a place that I could go to school at night to still further my education. It uh, allowed me to continue to working as I went through the program. It uh, would allow me to go at night, work during the day so I could get you know the experience that I needed during the day actually working out in the field and then the formal education at night that I was going to need to be more competitive in, in the workplace. That and I felt like the classes were um, actually helping me in, in preparing for my career. Well, the things that I was learning in class I could put to use um, in the work that I was doing uh, during the day. What I liked the most was that the construction management program at Weber State has different student chapters. Whether it be if you want to go into residential, they have a student chapter for that. Or if you want to go into mechanical, they have a student chapter for the students that are interested in the mechanical industry. So if you're somebody that's in the construction industry, you're out working in the field every day, and your back's starting to hurt and you want to progress, but maybe school's not for you, the construction management program at Weber State is designed specifically for that person. A lot of it is taking that hands-on knowledge and the field experience you have and it makes school work actually quite easy because it's stuff you deal with on a daily basis. The CMT program at Weber State is really good at producing graduates that have both experience and a good knowledge of the industry. I've been working in construction for about six years when I went into the program and it really helped me go beyond the knowledge that I had just in, in my daily job. Um, I really needed to expand my knowledge and, and become more well-rounded. The part that I like about the program, there were several classes I liked a lot. It was a broad range of information that was great for what my goal was to be a general contractor and I wanted to know a large range of information rather than focus on a small range of information and that was something else I really liked. One of the things that I like about Weber State's construction management program is the, the professors, the, the instructors, they're very knowledgeable. A lot of them still work in the industry. Um, there's a large portion of adjunct professors, meaning during the day they work their nine to five job and then at night they come up and help share their knowledge um, with the students. We have a few professors that have retired and they have uh, just a wealth of knowledge and they are uh, great to work with. They understand what we are going through. They're very patient. Um, and, and I feel a lot of them are laid back and are a great support to our students. The advice that we give to someone going into the CMT program at Weber State would be to get involved, um, not to come here just to get a degree, but to really get involved with uh, the extracurricular activities that the program offers, like the student chapters or 
go and do the student competitions. That, that was a big help as well because that gives you real uh, world experience. The faculty has been really helpful to me um, from day one since I went into the school. They've helped me so much through just getting set up in my classes and helping me get scholarships. They, I, I don't know that I could have done everything without them. They've really walked me through every process. Been really helpful. With the relationships I've established at Weber State University, I've been able to work with those individuals since I've graduated, and it's helped me start the networking and building relationships in the industry. If I'm interviewing someone and they, they have a CMT program degree from Weber State, myself, I already know what that entails, so I know what educational background they're coming to the project with.